hello everyone in this tutorial i will show you how to use jaxb api for converting any java object to xml or vice versa like from xml to java object also so for doing so i used java 17 and uh, spring boot 3.1.1 with that because as you know like if we are going to use this latest one then we need to do the minimum source committee with the 17 and gradle as a dependency management tool you can use anything like maven you can also use or whatever it is so for like converting java object into the xml so there is actually something some jaxb kind of thing is required because jaxb api is basically the main things to doing those things so for that we need to use some dependency like some jars for example like jakarta xml bind jaxb api jaxb code jaxb activation and this bind jaxb impl so these four dependencies actually we need to use so that dependencies we used for in this get hello inside of the get as a dependencies on the tool so if you are used as a maven then from there also you can use so you just need to provide those things in the maven dependency so these are the like basic uh, dependency that we need to use so before writing any code over there so let me explain like what is jaxb so jaxb it is like java architecture for xml binding that is the short form is jaxb it provides fast and convenient way to bind xml schemas and java representations making it easy for java developers or any to incorporate xml data and processing function in java application as part of this process jaxb provides methods for unmarshalling like reading the xml instances document into java content trees and then like marshalling meaning writing content in means uh, mm, uh, li like uh, java content back into the xml instance so jaxb provide always those things uh, in a way convenient actually way so here actually two concept one is the marshalling another one is the unmarshalling marshalling is the process for transforming java object into xml object unmarshalling meaning is the process of reading xml document into java object so this is the like basic uh, concept so that it will be easy to when I'm going to write code so that we can easy to understand those things right so jaxb actually so what we are going to do here so if we are going to means like mention the stress for this one first we are going to create project that can be maven project or gadel project so i already like created one project like Ma i have used the gadel as a dependency tool then like we need to create some pojo classes for converting those classes into the uh, like uh, uh, into xml or from the xml to java object and then we need to put some jaxb annotation over there in the pojo classes next what we need to do we need to convert the java object to xml and the next xml to java object okay so let's uh, and if you are using the maven then obviously uh, for the maven the dependency the pom.xml file is looks different little so uh, as i am not explaining the maven one so i have just taken this gadel versions gadel one so let's like uh, okay before uh, means over means before writing the code let me also explain like uh, uh, some annotations of the jaxb for example like xml root element so this is the like uh, annotation that we need to provide for the object to be used in the jaxb it is actually defined the root element for the xml content this is the root for defining the root element so we need to define this xml root element i will i will obviously means annotate uh, any pojo classes with this annotation then we need to like xml type it actually map the classes to the xml schemas type we can use it for the ordering of the fields like in which order actually you need to write those fields then like there is a concept of a transient xml transient this will be make sure that the object is not written into the xml xml attribute this will create the object property as an attribute and then the xml element this will create the element uh, whatever name you need to provide in the parameter you need to just provide some name let's create like uh, pojo classes for this one so let's uh, any 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 classes you need to take so for uh, me like uh, let me create uh, one package first package com dot dot dto for example now create one class 
for example uh, let's take one example employee okay now defining the fields like uh, private string name private string salary next private string designation private string age okay now what we need to do we need to annotate cl this class first like getter then uh, setter then uh, two string for logging and then what do we need to do we need to like annotate is as a xml root element so then here actually we need to like provide the name so what should be the name it should be employee okay this will be the xml root name and here also we can define the like uh, order of this uh, 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 printing or means order of this writing this uh, element so for that we need to use the xml type and here uh, actually we need to mention the order so for maintaining the order we need to like uh, properties is called the properties order here we need to mention those things like uh, name name first then like let me copy paste name then designation for example then like salary and then age okay so this is like uh, this is done next like what you need to do we need to uh, create like another class of uh, another detail actually let's say uh, wrapper of this employee actually which actually hold all the employees and uh, also like having some header kind of field so let's say wrapper employee okay okay typo let me rename it wrapper employee okay here what you need to do we need to define list of employee list of employee and or let's say employee list okay next kind of uh, header kind of thing so you can say like name we need to mention as a string and then like address okay next what do you need to do we need to create uh, the getter setter of this one so let's say what do you need to do we need to select setter only for getter i will annotate it with there is one reason like why i am creating only the getter not setter one because in the actually it will causing issues so i need to do setter for this one setter and we need to like create the getter else the when, when it will going to create those uh, like uh, create those uh, element it will uh, actually get the same list name so that's why it will cause issues now here we need to define the xml root element so here actually we need to define the namespace so in the xml actually you know like uh, there is a namespace concept so here actually we need to provide the namespace so you can write anything like for example for me it's a kind of it's a, what we are doing xml 
writing xml writing okay and here actually we need to xml element wrapper what will be the wrapper name should be employee so list will be wrapped with a employee this particular list and also sorry it will be a element actually xml element and wrapper is wrapper should be employee list yes meaning it's a wrapper name and it's a element for iterating um, this is the means uh, this is the top one and this is the like uh, for each employees okay so this is also done next what we need to do we need to like uh, we need to now write the main class for this one so because like uh, from the main classes actually we need to uh, means the main thing actually so how to do that let's uh, let's uh, write the main class then uh, i'll show you like uh, uh, how to do that so in the main class uh, maybe here i can create another class let's say entry point and it's uh, having the main classes main main it's not provided okay here okay now like uh, what do we need to do first actually we need to create the employee list right so for that first we need to create one list of employees list array list okay next we need to create employee object for example emp1 is equal to new employee next we need to set data dot set name dot set age dot set designation and last is the salary so salary for example dollar one thousand name is for example john age is for example 35 designation is software engineer okay next uh, create another employee for example employee 2 name is for example allen age is for example 32 software engineer service 1k next we need to add this uh, em employee list dot add employee 1 employee 2 right 
so this is done next step like we need to create the lap wrapped employee wrapper one wrapper employee into new wrapper employee wrapper employee dot set address for example london dot set name for example converting conversion of object dot set employee list employees so this is means data preparation is now done next actually we need to write uh, one method which actually convert this object to xml here actually we need to write one method for example private static void convert object to xml so it will take one input which is uh, wrapper employee okay here actually you need to first take like jacks b context is equal to next we need to create one instance for this one as uh, there is a one uh, static variable so what uh, the class would be it's a wrapper employee dot class okay it will throw some exception obviously so we need to instead of catching you need to throw this one okay next once it is then we need to take another like as we are like converting this uh, from uh, like uh, java object to xml so marceller we are doing let's say m is equal to context jaxb context dot create marceller next we need to set some property for example formatted output kind of thing else it will like uh, jaxb formatted output it will be we need to pass us it's a boolean flag so we need to pass boolean dot row okay next we need to set we need to give one name actually so in which name actually we need to like uh, create uh, the xml like what actually you are going to like marshalling this one like this one and uh, in console we need to like print so that it will print in the console and next we need to write also data into the file so next what we need to do we need to like marshal wrapper employee into the file system so new here actually we need to give them file and here actually we need to give the path so let's say what would be the name let's say employees.xml kind of thing emp 
or let's say pmp.exe okay so this is the done next what we need to do we need to call this particular method from over here it will throw exceptions so here also you need to throw this exception let's try to run this one it will give us some response let's see okay it will give us the exception this employee list uh, it's a uh, same name okay let's see okay get play leads we need to change the name let's uh, run this one it should uh, run now yes <coughs> as you can see so it's a uh, printed the employee list so as I am mentioning this is the like uh, top uh, root element for this one and then it's the nested like list of employees and here also like mention maintaining the order as I was uh, like defining in the employee here like the name designation salary age so that also like uh, name the salary age so let's say like first is the age and then salary let's check this one i just modified over here so now the first age should come yes as you can see the order is maintaining so mean it is now working fine right okay next like what we can do we need to like uh, as of using this and also it is like uh, created this xml as you can see here this is the xml also it's uh, created right next like what you can do we need to like write uh, uh, as it is a uh, converting this object to the xml now like let's write the another method which will actually convert the xml to like uh, uh, xml to the uh, java object right so for that what we need to do we need to like convert uh, x xml just change the name xml to object okay we don't need this input because we are converting from xml to the uh, this so we need to create as previously for this one we are creating a marcellar object now we need to create an marcellar object jacks the context dot create on Marceler next what do you need to do we need to on Marceler dot on Marcel here actually we need to pass the file for example new file and here actually we need to pass the newly created file like the name is emp dot xml okay and we need to assign it with a wrapper class wrapper employee so it will not casting so we need to provide the casting over here okay this is done now what we need to do we don't need this kind of thing here actually we need to iterate over this for means if we are uh, gonna to print those things then we need to use this for 
for loop okay I don't need this like uh, list of sorry employee EMP wrapper class play dot get employee list right here we need to print the name or maybe just EMP so that it will print those things now instead of this if you are call the another one like convert XML to object so that it will convert the whatever the XML is from there it will read the data let's run this one yes as you can see is it will actually read the data from the XML file so this is the like in this way with uh, uh, like Jacks V it's uh, actually do very means Jacks V API we can easily convert java object to um, java object to xml or xml to java object so this is a very simple example and very easily we can uh, do those things so this is just uh, like i am uh, reiterating those things as a tool i have used the gradle java 17 those things and uh, nothing else as a converting those things converting those converting java object to xml so i have to use the jxb so from the gradle uh, dependency tool it's also very simple nothing is complex over here just uh, previously it was java x but from the java 17 it's a jakarta so that's why it's a jakarta kind of thing in the in the import list also you can see those are the jakarta xml in the wrapper x also you can see the jakarta but previously before java 17 it was the java x one so this is the kind of pretty uh, like explanations of this one if you guys like any things or any any uh, questions please uh, ask those things to comment so that i can respond those things and in case if you guys are like uh, like like things like like my videos please subscribe and like uh, so that you guys can get notified when i upload the next videos the timing thank you bye bye very much Thank you.